setting up scheduled based auto scaling for OCI in less than five minutes. Welcome to this video. My name is Richard and I will demonstrate to you on how you can set up this scheduled based auto scaling, turn it on and off of resources or scaling up or down of your resources in OCI based on a time schedule. Um, so I've made a script for that. You can find this on my blog, oc-blog.com. Uh, it's also published on GitHub. And I will demonstrate to you on how easy it is to implement this script. Um, this script supports uh, compute VMs, turning them on and off. Uh, same thing for instance pools, and it can also sketch, scale the instance pools. It supports database VMs, bare metal, database, uh, bare metal databases, autonomous database, of course, Oracle Digital Assistant, Analytics Cloud, and the Oracle integration cloud services at this moment. So how difficult is it to implement this scheduled based auto scaling? Well, let's go to my um, OCI environment. And what I will need is I need a, a compute VM to run this script. So I will create a new uh, compute instance uh, for my auto scaler. I'll call it uh, auto scaler. And I will want to base this image on Oracle Autonomous Linux 7.8. Um, the nice thing about that is that Oracle Autonomous Linux is fully maintained by Oracle, um, so you won't have to uh, do any form of OS patch management and that kind of stuff. That's fully automatically done for you. So that gives you really uh, very little overhead of managing this environment. Um, I want to change the shape to a micro E2 instance, meaning this is a free tier instance, meaning I don't have to pay uh, to run this compute instance. and means that the place where the script runs for the, uh, the, the scheduled auto scaling is, is free of cost. It does not cost you to run this script, uh, therefore. And make sure that that instance is connected um, to a VCN and a subnet that has uh, connectivity to, um, uh, to the OCI APIs. Um, besides that, I'll save the private key. So I have access to this environment and I'll create this machine. And there we go. So uh, what we'll need, of course, is wait for this to be provisioned. So the instance is now provisioned up and running. And what I need to do next is to make sure that this instance has the capabilities to execute um, OCI API commands. And we can do that by using something called a dynamic group. So what I need to do is I need to copy the OCID number um, of this uh, instance. So I'll copy that and I'll go to my identity to dynamic groups and I'll create a new dynamic group uh, called scheduling, scheduling, schedule permissions or something like that and uh, group for schedule permissions and I'll paste in my OCID and I actually need to specify this in an um, in a format that you see here above so I'll copy this first bit and set that in front close it off nicely um, and I'll click create so now I have that uh, schedule permissions group here uh, with that instance ID on it and I need to now give this group the permissions to be able to manage my resources in my tenancy so we do that by going to uh, our policies um, in the root compartment because I want to make sure that I have permissions uh, across the entire environment I'll create a new policy so uh, schedule policy uh, policy for scheduling permissions allow dynamic dynamic group uh, schedule permissions to manage all resources in tenancy all resources in tenancy so we have now this schedule policy allow dynamic group schedule permissions to manage all resources in tenancy. So now our instance is part of this dynamic group and this dynamic group has a policy that it can manage all the resources in my tenancy. So we can go back to the compute instance here in my automation group. Here we go, we have the auto scaler. And um, so we'll copy the public IP address and we will launch um, a command prompt and we will SSH into this machine. Uh, dash I, uh, and I need to specify the key that I just downloaded. There we go. And I'll log in as OPC at the public IP address. So I'm now logged into the Oracle Autonomous uh, Linux environment that I will use for this uh, scheduling service. And um, what I need to do is just to download the install script and, and run that. So I can go to the GitHub repository, and you will see here the two commands that we need to execute. We first need to get the script. So we'll 
um, execute that. And then we will run the script with bash install. Now this will automatically install all the necessary components. It will actually download um, the auto scaling script. Uh, it will configure uh, that the OCI uh, Python libraries are installed, uh, everything that's needed. So that's done. Um, now the final thing is, if this is the first time that you do that, what you need to do to be able to run this auto scaling script is you need to have um, a namespace definition for your schedule and specific key tags to specify your, tag, uh, your, your tags. Um, now that you don't have to manually create, uh, we can go to that OCI directory here and there is a, a file called create namespaces. So we'll run Python 3 uh, create namespaces and this one will now automatically uh, create the namespaces um, for us. There we go. So now you will see uh, that if I go here to uh, governance and namespaces, I have a new namespace definition uh, in my root compartment called schedule. And in here I will find uh, things like any day, weekday, weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and all that kind of stuff. And that's it. We're all ready to set up. And uh, the auto scheduling service is run. It will automatically run every hour to figure out which instances can be scaled up and down and that kind of stuff. Now all we need to do is, if we want to use this, is to give um, resources these tags. So I can go to, um, for instance, a compute instance here, my developer instance, and I can say now, go to the tags. Um, I'll add a tag and I'll schedule, select schedule, and I'll say, well, for any day, uh, this is a developer uh, instance, I want to run um, during the day. So this is um, for each hour of the day. So it starts at zero hour, one o'clock a.m., two, three, four, five, six, twelve, noon, etc., etc. And I only want to run this during the day, and in the evenings I want this to be uh, uh, shut off. So a zero means shut off, and a one means turn on. So we'll run that. And uh, we'll add that schedule. Um, I can also go, for instance, to uh, an autonomous database. I have here an autonomous JSON database. And um, with this, I cannot just turn it on or off. I can also scale it up and down. So right now, this instance is configured with 1.0 CPU. Um, so I can add a tag here again. Uh, go to Actions, Add Tag, say a schedule. And let's say for, um, uh, well, it's Sunday today. So what we'll do, um, so here we go for Sunday. We will um, add a tag where I will say I need significantly more resources because on Sundays life is very busy. Um, so we'll give it a few hours long um, 4 0 CPUs at tag. There we go. And uh, all the other hours, by the way, so the zeros means uh, that it will be turned off. Um, now, same thing I can do for other services. I also have, for instance, an analytics cloud service here, analytics cloud. And um, again, here, this is right now running at 4.0 CPUs. Um, I can say, well, I want to have a tag here again, create a tag uh, with a schedule. And I say for Sundays or the weekend, let's say, let's uh, say the weekend, I want to run at, um, here we go, I have one with just two CPUs um, uh, for this instance. So what this script will do, uh, is it will run automatically um, uh, one minute or two minutes before the hour and it will do all the downscaling operations and after the hour it will run all the um, uh, all the upscaling operations. So let me just demonstrate this. Let me just force this because right now it's uh, uh, quarter past five. Uh, so it, it won't do anything yet. So we'll go back to my instance here and I can force it to run. Um, so we'll say auto skill. And it will now go and find these resources that have these schedules. Uh, and you will see that there are uh, resources found with these schedules. It initiated the autonomous database scale up. So if we go to our autonomous database, we should be seeing that it is being scaled. So right now this will be scaled from uh, one to four. If we go to our analytics cloud, uh, here we go, that should be scaling down. So that's updating, so that will uh, that is already set to two now. And if we go to our compute instance, uh, you can see that the developer instance is, is being stopped based on the schedule. So that's all you have to do is you install the script. It will run automatically every hour. And for any instance that you want to have this form of scheduling, uh, you just add a tag with schedule for any day, weekday, weekend, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. And you can specify what you want. Zero means powered off. Um, one or any other number means the amount of CPU resources. 
And if it supports scaling, it will then scale up or down. And uh, if it doesn't, if it's just power on and off operations, you will use zero and ones to specify this. So thanks for watching this video and have fun using OCI and the auto scaling script for OCI.